All right, so here I'm going to do a retest R410A of the field piece SRL8, which is testing to be the most sensitive uh, R410A leak detector available and uh, under $5,000. Here, let's go straight to one part per million. Got my ten part per million balloon. I'm gonna put ten cc in. It's 90 cc of air. It's one part per million. Picks it up quite easily. Let's go to 500 parts per billion. I'm going to mix half of it with air. 500 per billion. Go straight to 250. There's 250 parts per billion. Let's go on manual mode. So I'm going to hold the button. Three zero. Ten CC, add ninety of air. So we got one part per million in the syringe. Five hundred per billion. Two hundred and fifty per billion. Seems like auto mode is a little more sensitive. Manual is probably better for when you have background. So let's just we're going to go straight to two hundred per billion. Actually, two fifty per billion. So we're going to do 10 cc, go to one part per million. So back to auto mode because the light is on. So now we're going to go down to 25 cc and then we're going to fill in with air. And notice I'm, I'm blow out right here and then I fill in with air, you know, right here. I don't want to be sucking back in refrigerant. So here's 250 parts per billion. You can see you get three bars at 250 per billion. And uh, let's go down to 150 per billion. So we'll do our Start out at our one part per million. 10 cc in. Fill the rest with air. Let's go straight down to 150. So we're going to go down to 15 cc. Go back to 100. So here's 150 parts per billion, which is the limit of my test. If I was going to go start going lower parts per billion, I would start with a one part per million balloon rather than a ten part per million. Yeah. 
Apparently it picks up 150, so this is a retest on another day. I've already been using this in the field. I'm still getting the 200 parts per billion sensitivity of the R410A, which I also just demonstrated an interesting video of uh, the leak reference from a different brand, but the HFC leak reference. This detector picks up the reference leak literally a foot away on my table when the detector that the yellow jacket detector that that reference came with barely picks it up a quarter inch away. And uh, so very, this is a good leak detector. It's even more sensitive than the HLD 4000, which is a $8,000 leak detector. So I like it.